Hello friends. This is Amanda here, Journaling and Grace. And today I'm going to introduce to you to the ESV Single Column Legacy Bible. Thanks so much for joining me and let's jump in. All right, so let's just jump right in. Take this out of the cover. Now, this is not a journaling Bible. This is just a Bible that you would carry to church. You could study this Bible or just read it every day. This is black, true tone black, and it is not genuine leather. It is leather-like. So, the binding, you have your Holy Bible, ESV, English Standard, and then listed for crossway. So we're just gonna open it up. Now this is called a legacy Bible and we're just gonna flip through and show you why it's called a legacy Bible. Here you can list uh, your marriages, births and adoptions and your deaths. And I think typically now what they call a legacy Bible or just where you are able to list and um, have all of this um, at the beginning of your Bible. Uh, like I believe um, the older Bibles um, kind of came standard uh, with this. So Once again, this is from Crossway. Now these pages, um, they aren't exactly, I think, 100% white. I mean, they're not really cream either, so they're kind of in the middle. Um, and the Bible does have the gold lining, uh, the, the gold lining pages. And then you have your table of contents, the books of the Bible in alphabetical order. And your, your preface, your preface. A little bit about the ESV. And then your explanation of the features included in this edition. Now this kind of explains, um, before we jump right in and about, before I actually show you the text of this Bible, because it is just a little bit different than maybe what you're used to, um, but this kind of tells you um, the section headings, the textual foot, footnotes, types of textual, textual footnotes, and then over here it talks about your cross-reference footnotes, and then obviously the maps. And then I'll just tell you, it just says, um, talks about several alternate, tr alternative translations, explanation of the Greek and Hebrew terms. And just other ex explanatory um, notes. But I do uh, really like the cross-reference notes that are listed there. So this just kind of breaks it down on how the Bible is set up. So we'll start with the Old Testament and obviously start in Genesis. Now you'll notice that um, in a, I don't want to say regular Bible because all Bibles are different, but typically what we read, um, the, the heading is over here and not off to the side. So this Bible is set up with line matched Bible text and then your headings will be over here to the side. Now same here as we go throughout the book and I do like that the way that the text is in the Bible, how you have, you do have just a little bit of margin here 
and then how it's kind of just completely centered in the middle of the page. Now, instead of having the header right here, it's over here on the side, and that just allows for um, more space, more text in the actual page. <clears throat> I think that the actual point of the text is nice and big, not super small like some of the other Bibles are. And you have your footnotes down here in the bottom. Those aren't your footnotes. Yes, they are. Yep. Okay, we're gonna just gonna Head on over and you can see still throughout um, chapter 6 here's our header over here on the side the conspiracy against Nehemiah you are flipping over I'm gonna flip over to the New Testament we're gonna start with Matthew And we're talking about the genealogy of Christ. Down here, the birth of Jesus Christ. And all of our headers are listed over here on the side. I do like this in a sense, my own personal opinion, but I think just growing up and as reading the Bible, I'm just kind of used to seeing it on top of the actual before the chapter begins there's the heading so i will will say that that may take a little bit of getting used to um about the header but everything just kind of flows and if you want to read find, find out what you're going to be reading about you can just obviously look over to the side so i i really like the the font and the printing of the page the space um you know me myself getting a little bit older and having to read up close is a little bit harder don't like to really confess that but it is part of life and growing older but this is very gentle on the eyes very easy to read and very nice and flowy But I'm going to go back to the Gospels here just for a second. Um, I will say I am one of the people, um, I'm just kind of old school, and I just like to see the letters of Christ in red. Um, it seems like some of the Bibles are kind of getting away from that. Um, you don't really see um, very many red letter editions anymore, but um, I would like to see that. Um, and this Bible is not a red letter edition, but I'm not going to say that I would not read this Bible because of that. Um, it's just my personal preference, but I do wish that more Bibles were like that and had red letter. I do like the lot of space, obviously, as well, down here at the bottom for notes of your own and this is just very easy on the eyes and very easy to read now we'll flip back here to the back and you've got your abbreviations concordance weights and measures And your maps. This is a very, very neat map. And I have seen this one, um, similar maps to this and other Bibles about the Jerusalem and the time of Jesus. So um, if you ever get time to sit down and study one of these, this is uh, very neat to look at.
very nice and colorful maps. And you do have your ribbon marker. Always need a ribbon marker when you have a Bible. So, once again, this is the single column legacy Bible. I will link all of the information where if you would like to purchase one of these, that you can do so in the links. And I would also like to thank Crossway for sending me this Bible to give my honest opinion on it. I do like this Bible, like I did mention a couple times already. Um, it is very nice and easy to read. Very the, the print and the font is very nice and I do enjoy that very much. So, thank you so much for watching, and I hope that you enjoyed this video and this was very beneficial for you if you are looking for a Bible. Not necessarily a journaling Bible, which you see a lot on my channel. Um, just a everyday Bible that you can take to church or just read at home. So, um, I highly recommend this Legacy Bible. Thanks so much, you guys, and see you next time.